to the channel. I am hard at it today, but it's one of them deals where you gotta hurry up and wait. You put the put the stuff on, then you gotta let it dry. I've got all the fans going. Let me show you what I got going on here. Uh, first thing this morning, I cut a new piece for this wall here. Remember, it had the piece out for the where the ball came out. Then I also pulled that down, put a new piece up there, and it's, this side is not drying as quick as I'd like it. This is going to need one more coat, uh, and this probably will be too. Well, yeah, this will be. This is where the hole was for the box service old service panel that was there, and I forgot to fill holes in that wall. Oh well, we'll get. We got another coat to go yet. Uh, and then over here, we've got this all patched up. And this in here, where the where these two walls meet, you gotta excuse the fans. I gotta leave one. This is gonna take a couple more coats because it's it was a little higher here than that wall, but we'll get her blended in good. And then I'm gonna get a uh, like a stipple brush tomorrow, and I'm gonna put a texture on this, a light texture. That's gonna prevent you know keep me from having a. It's very dusty to be in here sanding, so I've been going real slow. The sandpaper I got doesn't fit the sand pad that I bought. I didn't think to check that, so I've been using a 2x4 and they're not real, you get scratches. So I've got all this taped. I'm not worried about the corners because it's going to have trim on each side. But I do want this to be somewhat level. And you can see it's still wet here so I didn't sand. I'm getting these little scrape marks from my sandpaper. But that's okay because we're going to texture it and I'm going to lay the paint on thick. It's very dusty, and we were. I had that gap there. I did a little fanciness with my knife, and took care of that. So it's been going well, and it takes forever for this stuff to dry. I've got this fan going, and the fan in there. Uh, I just cut me a piece. I, I framed out uh, two by fours, the same size as that hole, and then I ran one across. And then I just was able to cut a piece and stick, and I screwed those to the existing 2x4s. So I was able to just put a piece right in there and patch it in. That's where I slipped and went to grab, and yeah, that was better than that. But anyway, yeah, we're not going to get too fancy with the taping. Uh, but I do need to get on this wall and get some more holes patched. But it's all going to, hopefully I'm going to be painting by tomorrow. So I'm going to stay up and when this stuff dries, I'm going to put a, another coat, do what it needs. Go get the brush for the uh, texturing tomorrow. It's just a stipple brush. Real, you know, you've seen them, the rough stuff. You mix your joint compound out up real thin. It doesn't have to be that extremely thin, but you just still put it in your pan and, you know, you just, to where it matches this. This is about basically what they got here. So the reason I want to do that is because it, I've got this wall that's textured and I've also got that wall that's textured. So these are going to look funny smooth. So might as well texture the whole thing. It doesn't take that long to do it. So we're going to get that going. And I do know that the painting will be done by Friday. And I could still go ahead and start on my cedar tomorrow. So that's probably what I'll be doing. Uh, getting the, both the saws out getting the cedar cut ah, we got bad weather coming tomorrow so I don't know tornadoes and hail and all that they're saying they don't know but we'll see what happens tomorrow so but this is what I got so far you know and over here I'm not worried about that right now but that's gonna be I'll put sheetrock over it and I'm not gonna tape it or nothing and it's gonna have cedar going the same way that this cedar is going on this wall so i mean it would look stupid to have that as a white wall in here then i got to repair all the trim and stuff see i had to take the center trim off because i put my tv on i never did put it back but then i'll put that piece i saved those pieces i'll put those back put that piece back and so that will be where the cedar really ends other than the trim in here but man i love this fan that thing it puts out the air you know and it's got a little holder you can put your remote right there change your different you know lightings you just stand here yeah do what you got to do so it's pretty cool well, let's go out to the building let me show you the cedar that i have for 
and I'm debating whether I think I'm going to be putting the half inch up on the ceiling. It isn't going to matter. It's not going to exactly match up with what I got in here anyway. And it's going to be, uh, I don't know if I'm going to go six, I'll go six inches around, around the outsides. And then these will probably be like that, four inches. That's actually a little over four. I'll measure what that is and try to meet up with that. But I'm only going to use half inch. Let me take you out there and show you. And uh, I'll be back when I get out there. You've been up to something back there in them woods. Yeah, I do. You don't think I know where you're going, but I see you on the camera because you disappear for hours at a time. And I know you're not across the street because you know you're not allowed across the street. But she's going back up in there. She probably got a rabbit or something. I don't really take Tilly as the rabbit killing kind, but she is a beagle. Alright. This is fresh cut cedar in here. It ain't going to make much difference on the uh, ceiling. Now these are off cuts that he gave me. But the pieces uh, that I'm going to be using. And that's plenty thick. That's a half inch thick, six inch, six and a quarter wide. I'll, I'll have to trim them on the table saw to get them nice and square. And then here I got a bunch of two by four pine. And boy, these are drying out real good though. But this will be a bright red color like that for about six months to a year. And then it'll start fading. My house will smell like cedar like crazy. Let's come on in here. Yeah, I got I think I got 75 of them more than enough and that other cedar that I pulled out You know with the holes the screw holes and all that. I think I'll build birdhouses or whatever out of that Shelves I got it ain't gonna go to waste and it'll the nice thing about cedar is It can get wet every day dry up get wet again, and it's still good. It does not rot due to the weather so we're just going to put new stuff in. This is a lot easier to work with than that big thick stuff. So, and I do have, he did give me a big long piece there. And bless him, door. When I want you to go, kick, 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 I'll ask you to. Oh, now it's got to go back the other way. Wow, oh, look at this mess. It's already warm in here, guys. Whoo! And now I got to get in here in mud. I should be only, you know, the next couple of weeks, I should be able to get out of here before it gets too hot. Get this mudded. I can open the windows, bring some fans out. And it won't be super hot. This is going to be a lot easier to mud because it's new construction. And all the sheetrock went up dead even. I got nice, nice tight seams here. So just I'm just going to tape it and do the screw holes. And then, you know, if I want to paint it later, I can. And I've got my pegboard all ready to go. We got four pieces so I'm thinking one big piece on each end and then I don't know what I plan for maybe I think there's enough to do two eight-foot sheets that TV's becoming my new monitor for my security system when I get the office done so I'll bring that one out here it's a smaller one I'm not gonna if I'm out here working I'm not gonna be watching TV I'm not gonna be watching YouTube I'm gonna be working and I do need to pull out those uh, plugs I got in the vents because it needs to vent in here once it starts to warm up. I already did that one. I don't know if I could reach it by standing on this wood. Oh, because that deep, believe it, believe me, guys, these make a huge difference. A huge difference for ventilation. We had a uh, building, wasn't quite this big. We had a building at the ranch that was just so hot you couldn't go in. And I'm looking and I'm like, there's no vents. So I put a vent on each end, two vents on each end, and, and it never got hot in there again. Because it was, you know, it depends on which way the wind's blowing. But it makes a difference just to have the proper ventilation in there. All right, and I still got all my foam. Oh wow. There's a whole sheet of sheetrock there. Uh, that's going to be for that one wall then. That's my kitchen wall. And then I've got, I've been digging into these scraps. I needed them for those holes I had to fill in. 
there's some more back there and, I, and there's two big pieces in the screen patio uh, let's go back out uh, I can't wait to get this building going well there you are you want to tell the people what you've been up to yeah starting to get the storm cloak we're not supposed to get it till tomorrow though sitting there looking all you got your bone there ain't much left of that bone there just ain't much left of it yeah gotta start thinking about getting the garden going let's go look at my seedlings I've been neglecting these guys I need to get them repotted let me tell you something guys you never have to water these I have never watered them well the first week before they popped up that's Roma tomatoes man I'm gonna tell you they just water themselves with the condensation I've never used these but look how big and they're ready to be uh, repotted everything come up eggplant tomatoes bell peppers those are bell peppers and <laughs> radishes I got to get them out of here tomorrow it while I'm waiting for uh, stuff to dry I'm gonna get them out of here man these are the best thing ever you just set them and forget them there's my trim pieces oh guys why <laughs> oh you have to laugh you just have to laugh this is coming this is coming this year I want to get this whole place done and I robbed my table from the laser machine ah what the hell was that all them ladybugs I really haven't spent much time out here guys I've done a few videos out here oh, we're not gonna have that this year we'll be getting some wasp spray we ain't having that if I get out here early enough it's still a little early well I gotta see them get established and then I hit them and then I spray them with some uh, ants to ants or fly spray that has residual on it and they won't ever come back shut the door uh, so basically all it needs see this is the color it's probably gonna be hard for you to tell this is the color I'm gonna paint down there it's it's not white it's like a really uh, tannish off-white I don't know if you can see I just painted this I don't know what two years ago a year and a half ago there's a video on it but what I want to do is up here across this ceiling is put that metal with some four by four cedar beams oh every six or eight feet that would look nice and then have the cedar coming this way and then the the metal going all the way down but i don't know how i'm gonna get down there because that's 24 feet there is a little uh like scissor lift little bitty dude if you could drive it through your front door in Mina that you can rent so I'm gonna stop in there next time I go probably Friday see what uh, see how high it'll go because and this is a tall tall house it is a long way down I believe it's not it's 20 23 feet I think to from there to there but there's no ladder that's gonna reach up here and I need to put a light in here or I want to put a ceiling fan that hangs down pretty good ways uh, and I need to get that you know I need to start this whatever I want to do here with the metal and then when I get to this point then go get that thing because I'll need it for right here I don't I mean I'd have to get a whole lot of scaffolding to get up this high you know at least I, it could be done but I think I could rent that machine probably cheaper because I got to get up and I have to wire for this that's dead wire that's cut off inside the house so that's not any good All right. let me shut you off and go back down and close this video out and here are the counters that I'm pulling out yeah, they're not super uh, they're not super dark but it's gonna look nice with the like a white 
countertop with the black marbly marble marblesome stuff in there and I didn't glue these down I hope I didn't no they're just held in by the plumbing I knew they were temporary and then that of course that's gonna be all metal because the stove and all that's gonna be cooking plus I got all metal back here I'll do something like that but all right guys it's just an update you want to stand here and watch that dry I don't. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on tomorrow's video. Happy trails.